Ever heard about a 1954 movie called A Star Is Born? It's quite a story. The film follows a talented young woman chasing her dream of becoming a singer. Along the way, she meets a famous actor who helps her achieve her dreams while dealing with his own struggles. Here's the interesting part. There are plenty of surprising, funny, and sad facts about this movie that you might not know. If you're curious about these details, stick around. Do you have a special memory related to A Star Is Born? Or maybe you have a favorite character from the movie. Share your stories and thoughts in the comments below. Get ready to discover more about this classic film from 1954. You won't want to miss out on these facts. In the realm of cinema, there exists a timeless tale that has left a profound impression on audiences for decades. This story, filled with captivating performances and thought-provoking themes, has transcended the silver screen, shaping discussions about fame, love, and the entertainment world itself. It has sparked numerous adaptations and spin-offs, becoming a cornerstone of cinematic history. The narrative's resonance has led to widespread fascination with the journey of rising stars and the hurdles they encounter along the way. Its influence on storytelling is unmistakable, evident in the array of similar narratives that followed its release. Indeed, the impact of this film cannot be overstated as it continues to hold a special place in the collective imagination of audiences worldwide. During the 1950s, a lot happened in the entertainment world. Some people like John Saxon and Judy Garland went through significant events in their lives. For example, Judy Garland sadly passed away in 1969 because she took too much medicine. She had a big funeral with many people attending. Nancy Culp, another actress, faced criticism for her looks, but didn't let it affect her personal life. But she even openly talked about being attracted to both men and women. These stories show how the entertainment world of the 1950s had its ups and downs and how it still influences the movies we watch today. Struther Martin, a skilled swimmer, ventured into Hollywood after giving swimming lessons to Marion Davies and Charles Chaplin's children. He appeared as a swimming extra in several films, including A Star Is Born. James Mason starred in three movies recognized by the National Film Registry, The Telltale Heart, A Star Is Born, and North by Northwest. Judy Garland's wish for a white casket at her funeral was fulfilled by painting one, as no white coffins were available initially. These details offer insight into the lives and careers of the cast and crew of A Star Is Born. In the movie, Judy Garland, known for her talent, was cast alongside Mickey Rooney because she was shorter than him, standing at 5 while Rooney was 5'2". Jack Carson, another actor in the film, had a daughter named Germaine Catherine Carson with Kay St. Germaine Wells. Unfortunately, Germaine passed away from cancer on April 12, 2010. In his will, Carson mistakenly switched her first and middle names, leading Germaine to legally adopt the name Catherine Germaine Carson until her death. The set for the musical number Lose That Long Face was constructed using building facades from New Orleans, which were left over from the film A Streetcar Named Desire and painted white. Struther Martin was interred at Forest Lawn, Los Angeles, Ka, and the Court of Remembrance, G602420. Judy Garland, her paternal great-grandfather was John Aldridge, and her paternal great-grandmother was Mary Ann Ball. Amanda Blake, after enduring oral cancer surgery in 1984, received the Courage Award from the American Cancer Society, presented by President Reagan in Washington, D.C. In 1985, Blake also received the American Cancer Society's Sword of Hope Award. In 1954, a famous movie starring Judy Garland wowed audiences and became a big deal in Hollywood history. The movie revealed that Judy Garland was related to John A. and Martha Gum, who were proud Tennesseans. They were her family from long ago. Judy Garland was really good at acting in movies. People recognized her talent on August 19, 2018 during the TCM Summer Under the Stars event. Fans and movie lovers gathered to honor her. It showed how much she influenced the world of entertainment. It's interesting that Judy Garland played two characters named Esther in her career. The first time was in Meet Me in St. Louis. This fact makes her acting skills even more impressive because she could bring different characters to life. Thinking about Judy Garland's movies, it's clear she was more than just a movie star. Her talent and the way she acted still attract people today, 
making a special connection between her and her fans. Judy Garland's story is timeless and will always be remembered in Hollywood history. James Mason, upon Liza Minnelli's request, delivered the eulogy at Judy Garland's funeral. The train sequence, where the newly signed Esther substitutes for a star by waving a handkerchief out a train window, was the first scene filmed, resembling a touch of Anna Karenina. Struther Martin served in the U.S. Navy from 1942-46, stationed in San Diego Ca at the HQ of the Recruit Training Command as cadre facility staff. His rating was SP, an athletic instructor, and his highest rank was Petty Officer 3rd Class. He received the American Campaign and World War II Victory Medals. The grand premiere of the film marked a significant event at the Panages Theater in Los Angeles. Attended by Judy Garland, James Mason, studio head Jack L. Warner, and Jack Carson, along with numerous A-listars, it became the standout gathering of the year. Barbara Pepper, a potential candidate for the role of Ethel Mertz in Lucille Ball's I Love Lucy, faced challenges due to her chronic alcohol problem. Despite her consideration, executive producer Daisy Arnaz opted for Vivian Vance to avoid having two individuals with alcohol issues in pivotal roles. Matt Libby's memorable line, This is the way the world ends, not with a bang, but a whimper, closely echoes T.S. Eliot's words in The Hollow Men. The connection between the film and Eliot's literary work adds a subtle layer of depth to the narrative. In the backdrop of Hollywood's glamour, the film's premiere gathered stars and showcased the industry's dynamics. Meanwhile, behind-the-scenes struggles and casting decisions highlighted the challenges faced by actors contributing to the film's unique history. In a classic film from 1954, a memorable scene unfolds as a renowned actress joins the elite company of performers who have danced alongside both Fred Astaire and Gene Kelly. She shares this distinction with other talented stars such as Rita Hayworth, Sid Caris, Vera Ellen, Debbie Reynolds, and Leslie Caron. The original costumes for the movie were created by one designer, but due to the actress's changing weight, another designer stepped in to ensure the outfits fit perfectly. Set against the backdrop of a famous nightclub within the Ambassador Hotel, the movie captures the essence of a bygone era. Unfortunately, the hotel met its demise in 26, adding a layer of nostalgia to the film setting. These elements, from the elegant dance sequences to the backstage wardrobe adjustments and the historical venue, enrich the story of this cinematic gem. In the world of cinema, fascinating stories often lurk behind the scenes, shaping the final product we see on screen. From the remarkable memory of a legendary actress to the struggles faced by filmmakers in preserving their vision, every detail adds depth to the narrative. One notable figure, praised for her exceptional memory, effortlessly absorbed entire musical compositions after just one viewing. This talent astounded many, including those she worked with. Behind the scenes, the movie faced challenges as the studio intervened, leading to significant edits despite objections from the director and producer who happened to be married to the lead actress. Eventually, decades later, efforts were made to restore the original vision of the film, recovering most of the cut footage. Remarkably, an actress in the film holds a unique distinction, appearing in two Best Picture winners released almost half a century apart. This achievement, shared by only one other actor, highlights the enduring impact of their performances across generations. These anecdotes offer a glimpse into the intricate world of filmmaking, where creativity collides with practicalities, resulting in a tapestry of stories woven together by countless individuals. It's a reminder of the collaborative effort and dedication that go into bringing a cinematic vision to life. 